to get to see our maintenance to clean cap top, wiper blade, encoder, and carriage rails. First, we're going to go to home. On menu setup, press enter, which is the right arrow. Then we're going to go down to setup 20, which is CR maintenance, and then press right arrow again and start. We hit enter on CR maintenance. We're going to open the cover, open this little door here to give you more space. And we're going to be talking about the cap station, the rails and the pinch rollers and also the print head and the carriage station. To clean the cup top station, we are going to take a swab and get it a little wet with our nasal busting solution. And we're going to clean around it. We don't want to get in the middle of it, but we want to clean around it. All the way. We're going to do the same thing for this other one. Clean around it. Okay, and then we're going to switch. We're gonna get a new one. And we're going to use this to clean our wipe per blade. We wanna go in here and on the other side. And once that's all clean, we're going to remove the spitting pad. We're going to put this under cool water until you see that it's clean. And then you're going to put it back on the same position as how you took it. In our cup top station, we're going to make sure we clean both cup tops thoroughly. And we're going to get our swab, get clean solution. And you want to make sure that you clean the surrounding by swabbing and cleaning it as much as you can and then you're going to do the same thing on the other station you want to make sure it's really clean without touching the inside of it then you're going to switch swabs get a new one clean the wiper blade very well and then lastly, you're going to take the spitting pad and you're going to remove it. You're going to run water, cool water, until you see it's clean. And then you're going to place it back the same way you removed it. Now we're going to be begin discussing the heat patent area. And we're going to begin by pulling the media lever. We are going to begin by making sure that we take all the excess and dust and glitter off the media guards and also the pinch rollers this should be done maybe it depends on how much you print but maybe once a week but if you're printing with glitter you want to make sure you clean after every after every time that you're done once you're finished cleaning that you also want to clean the encoder and you want to use a dry lint free cloth very gently you want to pinch it and clean it all the way down if that doesn't clean it use diy water on the same cloth and go ahead and do the same process to clean the encoder we're going to take a dry lint free cloth and we want to pinch it and clean the entire band if that doesn't clean it, we want to use some DIY water and we want to do the same thing, very gently. And to clean the rail, we're going to use the rail cleaner. We're going to go on top and make sure we go all the way down and we're going to perform the same movement on the bottom rail, all the way down. Once that is clean, you're going to take a small amount of grease and you're going to put it behind it in front right here and underneath and you're going to spread it with your finger and then you're going to take the print head and move it across a few times just to help spread the grease 
We're going to spread the grease all through the railing on top and the bottom. And then we're going to take the head and we're going to go back and forth to make sure the rails are well greased. Very gently across the printer. We're going to be cleaning underneath the carriage around the print head, but not the print head itself. We're going to begin by using a swab with clean solution, and you want to clean the ramps. You want to clean all around it. You don't want to touch the inside of the print head. Make sure you clean all three ramps and right in front of it. 